right today we are going to talk about white matter and gray matter what is mean by white matter and gray matter what is white matter we define white matter as a collection collection of a exon and the cns and the central nervous system is called white matter as we know that this is the cell body these are the dendrites this is the exon collection of exon is called white matter and the cns out of the cns and the periphery of the body when many exon combine together it make a neuron that what is the difference between neuron and the white matter white matter is the collection of the exon and the cns in the brain and the spinal cord this is called the white matter but the collection of exon outside the cns is called neuron neuron is made from mini and mini bundle of the exon this is the neuron when mini and mini exon combine together it make bundle of neuron and bundle uh, a bundle of exon when mini bundle of exon combine together it make neuron so this is the collection many thousand of exon combined together it make a huge mass which is called neuron so this is the collection of exon outside the of the brain and the spinal cord but the collection of exon and the brain and the spinal cord this is called the white matter suppose this is this is the uh, longitudinal cut this is the longitudinal cut of the brain uh, of the uh, central nervous system uh, the brain and the spinal cord uh, these are the cell bodies dotted dotted point these are the cell bodies these cell bodies uh, uh, these are the fibers this fiber is called white matter so the uh, a group of exon a group of exon and the central nervous system is called white matter white matter are of some types number 1 white matter number 1 tract t r a c k tract number 2 commensural commensural fiber number 3 association fiber white matter mainly divided into three three parts three groups tract commensural fiber and association fiber what is tract tract are a group of exon which bring uh, information up and down the cns suppose this is the central nervous system when uh, uh, th this is suppose this is the uh, muscle of the uh, this is the muscle of my leg so information is come to the uh, spinal cord and then information is come to the spinal cord this is a group of the exon this group of exon is called neuron because it is outside of sinus but this information is a uh, bring up to the brain up to the brain with the help of another group of exon another group of exon with the help of another group of exon which is called tract so track what is track track are a group of exon which uh, send information up and down the cns a message come from the muscle to the spinal cord with the help of the neuro and then information up to the brain is uh, carried by the a group of exon which is called track there are two types of track those track which carry information up to the up to the brain is called ascending track it is called ascending track ascending track what is ascending track those track which carry information up in the cns is called ascending track while those track which carry information down in the cns is called descending track okay so these are the two uh, uh, main types of track what is commensural fiber commensural fiber are a group are heavy heavy mass of the exon which combine uh, to cerebrum of the brain suppose this is the uh, this is the right side this is the uh, this is the 
right cut side this is the front side of the brain this is the posterior side so when uh, i cut the brain so this is the right side this is the one cerebrum cerebrum is the largest part of the brain is you know and there present another cerebrum this cerebrum and this cerebrum is a uh, connector by a cable by huge cable of white matter by exon which is called commissural fiber this is the carpus callosum carpus callosum what is carpus callosum carpus callosum is a huge mass of white matter huge mass of white matter which combine together two cerebrum this is cerebrum number one here the cerebrum this is cerebrum number two this cerebrum are combined together uh, by a huge mass which is called carpus callosum carpus callosum uh, especially it is called commissural fiber okay another uh, another type is the association fiber what is association fiber this is the parental lobe this is the parental lobe of the cerebrum this is the occipital lobe occipital lobe occipital lobe of the cerebrum the parental lobe and the occipital lobe is combined together by some fiber which is present here by some fiber which is called uh, association fiber so uh, white matter mainly uh, divide into three groups carpus callosum the commissural fiber uh, the track track are uh, part the divide into ascending and descending track and the association fiber our central nervous system uh, communicate with the periphery of the body with the help of the nerve the most important point our our nervous system uh, is need to be com communicate with the periphery of the body and to communicate with the uh, inside uh, with, with with one another so our uh, central nervous system communicate with the periphery of the body with the help of the nerve and the uh, central nervous system communicate with each other brain and spinal cord communicate with each other uh, different types of lobe different types of part of the brain of the spinal cord communicate with each other with the help of the white matter so white matter is the inter internal communicating part of the cns while the nerve is the external communicating part of the cns okay this is the white matter this is the difference between white matter and the nerves what is gray matter what is mean by gray matter group of exon uh, group of cell body and the cns and the central nervous system is called gray matter but the group of the cell body outside the cns is called ganglia what is mean by ganglia suppose this is a nerve this is a sensory neuron this is the syllabary of the sensory neuron this is the exon of the sensory neuron here present many thousand and thousand of the sensory neurons so there present thousand of the syllabary it make a huge mass which is called ganglia what is ganglia collection of syllabary outside the cns is called ganglia so there uh, present a huge mass of syllabary which is called ganglia and uh, the exon is go to the spinal cord and this is the motor neuron what is this collection of syllabary outside the sinus is called ganglia but collection a group of the syllabary group of many syllabary and the spinal cord and the uh, brain is called gray matter these are the group of the syllabary okay gray matter are of two types one is called cortex another is called the nucleus what is mean by cortex gray matter two types cortex cortex what is cortex cortex a group of why a group of the syllabary which is present at the at the upper surface of the brain and the spinal cord this is the brain this is the cerebrum this is the cut section of the cerebrum this is the longitudinal suppose this is the uh, this is the uh, midbrain uh, this is the hindbrain this is the midbrain this is the fourth one when i cut longitudinal this is the longitudinal part what is cortex cortex is a group as a huge mass of syllabary which is present at the outer surface of the uh, brain or the spinal cord this is called cortex what is nucleus group of syllabary embedded and the inside the brain or inside the spinal cord is called is called one is called cortex and that is called nucleus do not confuse with the nucleus of the nerve of the neuron 
this is uh, a separate concept cortex a group of cd bodies uh, which is present on the outer surface of the sinus and the nucleus this is the cortex and the nucleus this is the nucleus this uh, fiber uh, go uh, uh, go down and up there are fiber which go up and down and the sinus this is the suppose this is the ascending track this is the descending track uh, uh, so there uh, come a group of cell body which is called nucleus this phenomena is called reticular formation i am not going on detail about the reticular formation what is reticular formation reticular formation is a network here this is a network which is made from the crisscross uh, crisscross uh, um, fiber suppose uh, this is a uh, this is a message which is this is a, a message this is a message from the left from the left leg this is a from the right leg suppose this is a message from the left leg the message from the right leg is go, is controlled by the uh, left cerebrum the message from the left leg is controlled by the right uh, leg as you know this concept so there occur cross cross network there uh, fiber the, here these fiber uh, cr uh, cross each other so there uh, they uh, they may uh, they cover a group of cell body at the deeper part of the midbrain this is the midbrain this is the part of the midbrain uh, so this group of uh, cell body is called nucleus simply nucleus what is mean by nucleus simply simply uh, uh, ganglia basal ganglia basal ganglia beneath the cerebrum is called a nucleus so nucleus uh, is the collection of cell bodies and the deeper part of the sinus okay this is the uh, difference of the white matter with the nerves and the gray matter with the ganglia do not confuse the nucleus th this nucleus with the uh, neuron nucleus okay this is the main concept